D. Gordon, leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Another look to first. Throw is up the line as it gets away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. You know, I think he tried to be even quicker with his pickoff throw over the first that time than the move he showed earlier. And when you do that, sometimes your feet and arm aren't in sync and it causes you to throw it away just like that one. Hit back up the middle. Throw just in time as he was flying down the line that time. Kyle Seager will stand 13. in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Swing and a little blooper to center. Kipnis ranging into the outfield. He makes the catch, but here comes the runner from third. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3 nothing ball game. Designated hitter, Ken Griffey Jr. Ready for another shot now. Ken Griffey Jr. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. And this is popped high in the air back behind short. Lindor will put this one away and the side is retired. So. Here's Carlos Santana now. Over for two on his line thus far. Hitter, Carlos Santana. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse and you foul it off. Hit hard, but foul. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Swing and a liner. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. Now batting. First baseman. Digging in once again. Chris, Chris Colabella. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. That's a ball. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. And he won't oh. bite at that one either. It's 2 0. One out, nobody on. 3 and 0 oh now. He's really been good this game. Around the plate, throwing strikes, hasn't walked anybody. Right now, he finds himself a little bit of a hole, but he can battle back. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Can't keep that one fair either. And now the count is full. Bases are empty, one man out. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Ready once again, Tyler Naquin. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And that's in there for a strike. Comes back with a fastball up and away that swung on and missed 0 and 2. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Hanniger is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Your Ryan Merritt please. gets the call from the pen now to take over the on the mound and start the home seven. Ryan Trying to pick things up where he left off. Nelson Cruz he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Hit out towards second. One away. The first baseman, number five. Digging in and looking for Freeman. more. Freddie Freeman. Freeman. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Hit hard back up the middle. Lindor up the middle. In time to first, and there are two away. The batter number seven. Ready for another stop. chance. Corey, Corey Seager. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Now here it comes. 
Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. I like that he used the curveball to get ahead there. That's a tough pitch to hit in this lefty lefty matchup. So if you can get it over the plate on the first pitch it can be pretty effective. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Mariners are down on four pitches but they lead. Leading off for Cleveland third base. Now action in the bullpen as their closer Ramirez. starts to get loose out there. Bounce to first. Freeman is up with it and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The right fielder number eight. So stepping Lonnie in Lonnie Chisenhall one for two on his line so far in the game. Ball one no, one out nobody on. Perhaps a little low there. It's two and oh. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? A dive, and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as now an infield. Catcher, Eric Kraft. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound. And the hook's coming with him as that'll be all for Max Scherzer. So he'll head for the showers as he stands to win this one if the bullpen lead. can find a way to protect his three run Mariners. lead. Sun Huan Oh enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Eric Kratz is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 0. And he watches one miss outside 2 0 now. Well, you can see what he's trying to do right there. Double play situation. Two balls down in the zone trying to get that ground ball. Didn't get him to bite at either one. Now he's behind in the count, 2 and 0. Oh. And he misses again, ball three. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really oh, good to hit right here in a 3 1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. Here's Michael Brantley. And field, his guys are looking to erase that donut Michael on the scoreboard Brantley. with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Little chopper back his way. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first. And that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Now in the box, Jason Kipnis. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock. But you only have 27 outs to work one with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Outside for a ball, one and one. Ah. In there at the letters, one and two now. And he's Zero. down on strikes. So they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Here now is Mike Zanino. He'll get things Leading started the now runners. in the bottom of inning number eight. Gotcha. Mike Zunino. First pitch of the at bat on its way to third. Throws in time and that's out number one. Now batting left fielder. So striding in Mitch Hanniger. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. J.D. Martinez will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. So striding forward now, Billy Hamilton. He's working on a one for three thus far. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. The At the plate, D. Gordon. He was retired via D. the ground ball Gordon. last time up. 
first pitch on its way. Runners going. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Spin and a throw back to second. Kike right. Hernandez will look to provide a little two American. out thunder off the Number bench 14. as he'll hit with a runner at second and two Hernandez. away. Runners on his way to third. It's a swing and a high pop up. Kipnis is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One left for J.D. Martinez will now stay in the ball game now field. and take over in Number left field. Kike Hernandez will stay in the Martinez. ball game now as he comes on to play second here. So here's Francisco Lindor now. And then what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Digging in the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. And you may notice the usual closer is not in the game here with the save opportunity on the table. Yeah, he's worked a few days in a row, Matt, so we were told before the game by the skipper he wanted to avoid using him if possible. So that means they will look to close this thing out without him. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. And the slider stayed low, apparently, for a ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll take this on to first. And they're down to their final out. Two away. First baseman, Chris Colabello. In now, Chris Colabello. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. In there, no balls and a strike. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Boy, good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. Takes this the other way to right. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all time winning streak record in their rear view mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now this is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. 3 0 the final score in this one today. Max Scherzer earns victory number 24 this season. Sun Huan Oh hammers down the five out save, his 10th. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Three runs, five hits, no errors. They left two men on base. Cleveland, no runs, four hits, one error. They left six men on base. The winning pitcher is Max Scherzer, his 24th win of the season. The loss goes to Josh Tomlin. His record is now eight and seven. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game trains will be available at the King Street Station, located just north of Safeco Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue, Royal Brom Way, and Edgar Martinez Drive.